Okay. Uh, so the the big one is demand, right? So you're saying that you you just last statement you just said was it's still going to grow 50% every year for <laughs> next several years. Well, there's some people who are now saying, well, it's not going to do that this year in 2023, and so they're pulling off. They're saying that it's fairly valued as a company, as a car company. It's perfectly valued today, which <laughs> really bothers me because it's just like you just said, because I don't believe that's true. But what's your thinking about the uh, First of all, macro and then demand. Those are the two things that need so, to happen first. So, right? so unlike a lot of the people that are in this space, a lot of people that are doing YouTubes or a lot of people that are on Twitter and whatnot that are pundits, I'm I'm one of the few that is actually a marketer and has actually been a manufacturer. So while I'm a mi micro version of Elon Musk, I actually was doing five and a half million in sales as a, as a manufacturer, selling on four continents. Uh, was the large was the category killer in my in my category by far the number one in my category, um, and I was also a marketer my entire life. So I look at the current situation and I say, "Great, bring it on." Um, we're going into a recession. Fine, this will be a great time for me to kill some of my competition. <laughs> one of my one of the books I wrote is I was in the bicycle industry most of my life. One of my books is titled uh, "Bicycle Dealer's Guide to Getting Rich in the Recession." So. Starting a company in a recession, starting a new product line in a recession, uh, taking advantage of your cash pile and your and your uh, massive pricing advantage in your margin advantage in a recession, you can absolutely destroy the competition. And I just put up a video today titled, I was wrong. And the reason I had to do that is I did not think price would be the first place that Elon would go. Based on what he did at, at, uh, at PayPal, I thought the first place he would go would be other kinds of marketing. He would go to incentives or promotions or, you know, some kind of methodology to test to see whether he really needed to drop the price. But I think what happened was is that those things would take too long and he needed a shocker. He needed a headline. He needed something that was going to just absolutely uh, make make all the competition go have a very, very bad night. <laughs> so, yeah. so I think that's what happened. I now think that there will be layering on of marketing ideas, of, of marketing approaches. He's never even advertised. This is a company that has been growing 50% a year with no advertising at all. Word of mouth and Twitter, that's about it. Um, and so a Super Bowl commercial? I mean, why not? Apple did it. Um, taking some commercials that would appeal to Elon, like on safety or on the value of not having to fill your gas tank or on, on you know, issues of uh, global warming or, or, even, uh, or even just uh, improving the environment and creating sustainable energy. I mean, it doesn't have to be, oh, or, you know, lying, as he said uh, about commercials. No, there's a, there's a way to do it. Click the link below to get your paperback, Kindle or audiobook now.